Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Rico and the place to be coming to you live and direct from our undisclosed location, uh, giving you the brother's man perspective on my first car show with the Cybertruck. I think I got jerked out of best in show only because I feel like the car that everybody went over to the most should have been the, the best in show. So should have got that. Excuse my beard. I didn't comb it this morning, but I did darken it a little bit. You know, whatever. Sue me. So, um. First person comes up, I will say this, the most questions I got asked was how much did it cost and how far could I go? So the how much did it cost thing, I just, I let them guess and whatever they guessed, I just said, okay, cause it's none of your business, what it cost me, you know? And then how far can it go? I would tell them it's relative to what kind of driving you do. You know, my round trip is, um, what, 14 miles. So that's as far as I need to go. But if I got rehearsal, that's like a round trip, 160 miles. I make it there too, so I just tell them it's it's what you what you're doing. You're not out there hot dogging it, you know, acting crazy. The truck can get you. I know you can get over 348 if you stay like in the city, like that 45 mile an hour and slower. This truck can run forever. I'm sure it can. But you know, all in all, it was a good experience. I mean, the crowd, I mean, when you get a cyber show, the, you're going to get some crowds, man. That's going to be a borderline scary. Like you might want to have somebody with you, you know, looking out. Oh, yeah. You see my microphone, you know, production value don't went up a couple of dollars. You know how I do. I hope it sounds OK. It always sounds decent to me. Anyway, maybe one of those gimbal camera holders comes next. I don't know. I'm just happy to have a few subscribers and, and some com and some comments on the on the, on the uh, video. Anyway, um. Crowd was crazy. Uh, I only let one person sit in. It was my homeboy wife, so she was, and she was, a, she was a cyber truck hater too. She's like, "Can I sit in your ugly truck?" I'm like, "Go ahead, get your ass in there. It's all good." But um, but no, a few people wanted to look in. You know, as far as like lean inside, everybody else had cameras up. I would raise it to extract mode, which they don't recommend you do a lot. But hey, whatever, just shit break your brakes. Um, but I kept it mostly on, uh, on entry mode so people can, a lot of, a lot of shorter patrons of the car show. And, uh, but good thing about it is your boy got top 50, top 50, my own brother. I did have some mods though. This was the, uh, shopping wall of center classic car show, 2024 DMV rods and classics car club. So, oh, top 10 truck. My bad. That's what I got. So good for me. Um, it was in Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, I don't know, probably about 35 minutes from, uh, you know, where I am here in VA. But a uh, real good show. Um, happy I went. I, they could have done a better job on the damn uh, award ceremony because they took forever to pass out these damn trophies. It's like, you know, add the numbers, you know, get your list, write them down. And they had this geriatric man reading them off. Then he's like, oh, he got a... A European futuristic car like Tesla. That thing was made in Texas. We had Nikolai. <laughs> what was Tesla's real name? I think it was Nikolai Tesla. Uh, he's from Europe, but you know, but the car Elon Musk is South African by way of America, so it's all good. But it was a lot of fun though. Uh, when you win at these car shows, I take it a win for EVs as far as me, right? We don't always um, get a good um, get out the shade. We don't always get good representation you know we can't do all the mods that other car car uh, manufacturers do because it's not enough stuff made it for the um for the ev uh, excuse my stuff in this man i try to come to y'all hardcore rough rugged and raw you know what i'm saying they ain't all that crazy editing that's cool but you want that real brother man black man perspective on these car shows so but anyway this is all subjective right you know you get what you get if you win you win you don't you don't there's 176 cars i think they're 180 and only 50 people got uh trophies uh for top 50 cars and you had top 10 truck and i think you had best in show and like best paint best wheels and then overall best in show so yeah but the only thing with car club i mean car um shows is it's long days yo no i know you see people win trophies they, that's when you see a trophy in the, in the car in the car show in somebody's house you no know, that's about 12 or 13 hours of just sitting there waiting debating anticipating <laughs> for so long you know what i'm saying shout out to cool j but it's just, it's a long day. You answer a lot of the same questions over and over again. It's never really any decent fool unless you bring it yourself. Bring a tent or a big umbrella, you know, like I did, or 
or um or sit in your car. Some people choose to sit in their car. I don't, you know, I think it's there to be shown. But keep your hands off people's cars. I mean, you like my the cyber truck, right? Let me step out here. Cyber truck, right? Crazy shiny. And I know it's I know you want to reach out and touch it. This ain't a Diana Rust on. Touch somebody's hand, not my damn truck. So I've spent a ton of time wiping fingerprints all yesterday. You know, it is what it is, though. What can I do? So um, long story long, it was a good day. I was selling my like I was selling my ass off on EVs. Everybody had something to say. I've been doing this since 2017, by the way. So I kind of got a rebuttal for any like ridiculous question. But it seems like people want to discount EVs because of the distance. But when they get in their car, no one's want no one wants to drive four or five hours straight without stopping. I mean, if you're in that much of a rush, you need to be you need to be flying anyway, because a two hour flight costs you about four hours of your time. And that's if you time it like me, get to the airport <laughs> as they close the door and don't check a bag. You probably got four hours of your time for a two hour flight. I know this because I fly from D.C. to Tampa all the time. That's about how much it takes me. Fly South Wheezy because I can get there, run right using clear and TSA pre-check. I run right through. Right before she closed the door, I'm coming in hot, coming in hot. But I have a house there, so I don't need to bring any luggage. So it works in my, my favor. Anyway, back to the car show experience. I'm selling all of my uh, all my EV knowledge to people and just getting. I think I got some believers, though. Definitely on, on far as Tesla. I can't really speak so much for the Fords. So I do have one of them for sale if you want an F-150 Lariat, hit me up. But you're pretty much sitting there all day, you know, you shaking hands, kissing babies, you know, being a politician. I mean, the patrons don't really vote unless it's one of those kind of shows where the patrons vote and you can try to win them over. Most of the time, you just got judges that come by. And by this truck being so new, you know, it's hard to, for them to judge it. What can they say about it? I mean, the only mods I have is tent, mud flaps, and a few internal organizers and a cell phone holder. Oh, and uh, tire shine. There's some weird brown coating on my wheels, though. I don't know what that is. It's, these wheels ain't really giving me. I'm either going to get them powder coated, like either the same, you know, satin black, whatever, or, or real glossy black to kind of help with the contrast. But I don't know. Maybe even bronze. We'll see. Be on the lookout. But yeah. But then once they call your name, you're kind of happy. Your friends clap for you. You want to come there. You do your thing, you know. But your car show, a car show, your car has to be super clean, though. And because it rained yesterday, I spent like the first hour of the show just really getting the dirt and dust off from under the wheel well, which is a good thing about ex extract mode because you can raise it up like, like another 12 inches and you can get your hand in there and the cleaner and wipe everything off. So she was definitely clean. I post pictures, you know, after this video, but she was definitely clean, looking good. Oh, man. So man, I didn't I have like some uh, Instagram tag, you know. Uh, uh, vinyl stickers I could put on here, but I didn't put it on. I should have, but I'm getting wrapped tomorrow, you know, so I wanted to wait till my wrap. I'll pick it up with the wrap, and I was going to lace them stickers on there and, like, really, you know, seal the deal. So I knew I would have got an easier 1,000 followers yesterday, more so just on um, on, on uh, YouTube, whatever, from me just talking about the car and everybody. I think they, they was kind of, like, thinking that this is a car everybody can get because these rappers are getting them. You don't have to be a rapper to get a cyber truck. At least I don't rap. I play trombone, though. Well, we're now a trombone player, still protected from the ozone layer. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chuck D. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that's my experience with this car show. You know, like I said, Waldorf, Maryland, I'll definitely come again. I think they have another one on Father's Day. Um, I'm not a father, but I think I am like an uncle or mentor to a lot of kids out there. But, um, yeah, do these car shows, man. Let people know we out here. That way these companies start making mods for us and our stuff can look just as cool as the ICE cars. That's internal combustion engine for those who don't know that acronym, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's your boy, Rico, place to be, holla black.